Hi folks, I want to briefly revisit the lens flare from Venus, visible in the stereo head HI2 images. First of all, here's an image from HI2 from June 1st, and you can see Venus in front of the Milky Way. And you can see that HI2 actually does a very good job uh, capturing deep sky objects like the Milky Way. It produces quite a beautiful image, but the way that the images are normally processed uh, and put online as JPEGs uh, kind of ruins the view of the stars, and so you don't see what looks like a normal image at all. They're very heavily contrast enhanced, and that's to bring out the tenuous heliosphere. It also has the effect of bringing out very tenuous lens flares. If I process the images the way that I did here, you wouldn't really see the lens flare at all. Uh, it would be too dim. So I've cranked up the contrast far past this level uh, for the images I'm about to present to you that I processed from the raw data. And that's why the Milky Way looks completely overexposed in those images. It's because of how I had to process it to bring out the lens flare. Likewise, the images processed uh, that are available online as JPEGs have been heavily contrast enhanced as well. But because of the way that they do the image calibration, you don't even see the stars as well as you do in the images I'm going to present to you. First up though, here are the JPEG versions of the images as they're available from the stereo website. And you can see uh, that the lens flare appears after Venus is already in the frame. It appears to come out of nowhere. Some people have said that's evidence that it's not a lens flare. Also the fact that it's moving and growing as Venus moves in the frame. So we're going to compare to the 2012 images that I previously found uh, where Venus was at the same angular separation from the sun as it is in these images and see if it does the same thing. In these clips from 2012, Venus is once again at the same angular separation from the sun as in the previous clips. And once again, we see that the lens flare appears out of nowhere after Venus is already in the frame, and it appears to move and grow as Venus moves towards the center of the frame. That is the normal behavior for this lens flare. You can look back when Venus is at the same angular separation from the sun, and you'll always find that this is the behavior. Now I'm going to present my own images processed from the raw data that retain the uh, view of the stars and the Milky Way, so you can see what they really look like before all this fancy processing that brings out the tenuous heliosphere and over enhances the lens flare. So here are the images I processed from the raw data covering the same time span as the first series of clips that you saw. And if you look carefully, you can see the lens flare appear to the left of Venus, but you can see it's very, very faint even compared to the Milky Way, which is completely blown out in these images. And that shows you how incredibly contrast enhanced the JPEGs are on the Stereo website. They do some fancy processing involving images from a previous day, and the process of doing that uh, causes some strange effects in the appearance of the stars, and that's why the images look as strange as they do. So here are the images from 2012, and once again we see the lens flare appear to the left of Venus with the same behavior as in 2014. Uh, you can also see two bright planets. One, of course, is Venus. The other is Earth, and you might see some black spots where those planets are. Uh, that's because I did my own calibration method using a median combine of the images from this series of clips, and I subtracted it from both the current series of clips you see here and the previous series of clips. So if you saw a couple of black spots in the previous series of clips, that's why. Well, that will do it for this video. I hope that answers your questions about this lens flare caused by Venus in the Stereo HI2 imager. If you look back at previous examples of it, you see the exact same behavior that you see now. Uh, so with that, I hope you have a nice day.